Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aries. So if you're an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stable in Aries, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading that so might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, the reply. Don't try to pause the message. Also, don't do this reading to take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. So, this is going to be a who's coming towards you in love. So, this very well could be a past person, a new person. I have no control over what energy is going to come up or what the cards are saying. So, yeah. Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. For some of you, this is someone who's trying to sneak back into your life here with the Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords. This is someone who's trying to sneak back into your life. For some of you, this very well could be this could be a new person for some of you, but if this is a new person for some of you, this person is uh, like, they are definitely hiding something from you. They're definitely keeping something from you, hiding something from you. This is not someone who is, for some of you, this person could lie about um, their past here. That's what I'm getting. If this is a new person, this could be someone who is um, lying about their past. past person here uh, they want to move to karma waters they want to heal this uh, situation here they want to fix things here some of you this person is very well aware that you are defensive towards them or um, if this is a past person they are very well aware that your guards are up when it comes to them or you are someone who has changed again for some of you th this past person is trying to come up with a plan to sneak back into your life here this is a sneaky energy the seven of swords is showing up twice here this is a sneaky energy this is someone who's trying to just find a way to get back for some of you this person might try to pretend that uh, they actually have good intentions and they want to move to karma waters and everything but uh, then that that's not their intention this is just a way for them to get back in your life to um, get what they want here so whatever this person is saying that might be lies that might be like false promises sort of a thing with this person here someone who has had options in the past or they treated you like an option or they were very indecisive about this connection or relationship knight of cups yeah and the moon 
yeah judgment for some of you this is a past person here yeah, this is someone who wants another chance with you and this person is very unsure about how they are going to get this second chance with you judgment on the moon could be dealing with pisces cancer scorpio this person is very unsure about how they can do it how they can go around it how they can do go about it this person is very unsure about that There's a lot of insecurity with this person, definitely with the moon. They are also fearing that they might not uh, be able to get what they want. But with the Knight of Cups here, this is someone who... Uh, yeah, Six of Swords and Knight of Cups. This is literally someone who is trying to come back around saying that I want to heal this connection, I want to heal this situation. So this person might uh, come back with flowers and apology sort of a thing here with the Knight of Cups especially. Yeah. They want a chance here. But yeah, see this person is hiding something. They are definitely hiding something here. Seven of Swords showed up twice, the moon. love bomb you they are going to make some false promises they are going to it's like th this is someone who will tell you everything you want to hear everything you have been dying to hear from this person this person will tell you everything but it's just a way for this person for some of you this person actually wants to test the waters and see what's up with you just to see that do they still have that hold on you do they still are they you know under someone you um still feel equally hooked to for some of you this could have been a um, very sexual kind of a connection you slept with this person sort of a thing here so this person will try to see if those uh, old tech tricks and techniques still work on you or not with a Capricorn. What was the bottom of the deck? The Fool, Ten of Cups, the Emperor. That's your energy. Could be dealing with another Aries. Knight of Swords. Six of Cups. Yeah, past person, definitely Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. This could be someone who runs their mouth a lot. There's someone who runs their mouth a lot. For some of you, this person could have really, you know, they, they tried to rush this connection. This connection was very rushed. But yeah, you definitely have history with this person with the Six of Cups here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see? See that combination. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords again. Yeah, Four of Wands. It's very possible you were already in a commitment or a relationship with this person. You were trying to manifest or you both were building a relationship or a commitment. Could have been engaged with this person. But yeah, see? Queen of Swords in reverse and Seven of Swords. That is someone who is this is a manipulative liar and that's the reason why I got with the Knight of Swords. This is someone who runs their mouth a lot. You know, they have a lot to say. Well, it's like this person is like 
uh, they are just confusing you with their words or they are using those words to just get what they want. So it's very possible this is the kind of person who will talk a lot but their actions don't match those words. in and out kind of person as well with the knight of swords like when they show you um, they want to be with you they are really very talkative they are really showing a lot of enthusiasm and they want to make this connection happen and everything but some of them is with knight of swords and six of cups this is this could have been the kind of person who you know like there are people who, how to put it, there are people who will just say, I miss you, I love you multiple times. You know, people who will just, they, their actions are not showing that, but they are saying it. They are running their mouth and saying those words, but their actions are not showing that they mean it. And that could have been the case with this person here. yeah well yeah this is this is a liar cheater energy literally the seven of swords thrice this is the third time we are seeing the seven of swords here and the queen of swords in reverse this person will lie and scheme their way back into your life that is what they want the devil is sitting right in the heart of the reading here this person will try to get into your head with their words they will try to get into your head death rebirth yeah this person definitely feels that ouch this person definitely feels that this is not really over between the both of you they can reignite the passion here this is what this person is thinking they can reignite the passion this is also what i'm getting this person thinks that they will have to try a little harder than they did the last time but if they do play their cards right, if they do try harder, then they will be able to reignite this passion. But they have to be very, very patient with you. They cannot rush you. They cannot force you to do something. They cannot force you to just accept their apology or offer and everything. They just have to be very, very consistent at whatever they are saying. So even if it's lies, they have to be very consistent about it. And also in getting this energy with this person, they feel like they have to be very, very careful as well. It's like, you know, people, when you are lying something, you have to remember that I lied about that. And that's the thing with this person. This person is, it's a very like, uh, I'm seeing that queen of swords in, in reverse and seven of swords uh, card again. So this person is in that energy of, they have to be patient. They have to be consistent. And if they can do it, they will be able to reignite the passion between the both of you. They can't lose their patience or lose their temper here. It's just a game of consistency. I don't know about that energy of this person might try to chip away your confidence as well. Keep um, breaking your confidence down one way or other. I don't know, but that's, a, that's just a one message that I got. This person might try to do a lot of things here because see again the devil the uh, seven of swords the queen of swords in reverse this person might try it might try to do a plethora of things to just get back with you
Ace of Cups. Look at that. The Devil and the Ace of Cups here. And the Death Rebirth card again. Yeah, I could be dealing with a Scorpio. Strong Scorpio energy here with the Tower and the Death and Rebirth. You know this person is going to come out of the blue. Out of the blue, this person is going to come towards you. It's going to be very unexpected almost. Like you don't expect this person to try to do this or try to make a move here but this person a they're going to be very consistent and they are trying they're they going to be very convincing here it's almost like this person will convince you to believe whatever they are seeing and it's very possible this person is good at it they are good at it again queen of swords in reverse seven of swords this person is good at convincing people i don't know like this person might try to play the victim card as well here they might and again, that's the thing. They will convince you that they are the victim. They will convince you that you are doing injustice to them by uh, not giving to them or by not hearing them out. This person feels like you owe them something. That's, that's the energy I'm getting with the devil and the ace of cups. Uh, this person feels like you owe them something. like a sense of, sense of entitlement with this person this could be generally how this person is or it's just that's how they feel when it comes to you Yeah, that's that energy. Seven of Cups in reverse and Ace of Swords, Page of Swords in reverse. See, again, that lying kind of energy here, the liar kind of energy. This person will really try to convince you that they are not lying to you, that you are misunderstanding them. You, you are confused. You are misunderstanding them. That's not how it happened. It's almost like someone tried to gaslight to you and try to convince you that that's not how things happened you misinterpreted their words you misinterpreted their actions or you misunderstood them the challenge is this person just doesn't tell you the truth they're not telling you the truth ace of swords they are just going round and round and trying to confuse you they're not trying to just clear the air and clearly tell you. Instead of clearing the air and having a clear cut con conversation with you, this person is just doing the same thing over and over again. They're repeating the past patterns. So they lied in the past, they're going to still keep lying. It's like someone who is just stuck in their ways. They are not changing. some of you you might just end up um, ignoring this person here or ignoring the offer they are trying to bring or whatever they are trying to say you might end up ignoring this person altogether or you know it's not even ignoring it's almost like you are not going to be impressed by whatever they are saying Right. 
three of cups, eight of pentacles. Do the moon fix sign star Scorpio Leo Aquarius three of cups and ace of pentacles in this person's actions in the world. Yeah, this is someone who will really try to reunite, reignite things here. We already have the ace of cups and now the ace of pentacles. Oh, we do have three aces: ace of cups, ace of pentacles, ace of swords. Although the ace of swords is more like in the challenge, but this is going to be this person's actions. So yeah, for some of you, this person will. Um, try to sell this is what I got try to convince you to buy whatever they are trying to sell yeah see this is the outcome the moon I was looking at the outcome of the four of cups but then i forgot to look at this person's action so i looked at their actions first four of cups in the moon yeah for some of you are not going to be impressed by this person's whatever they're saying or doing at all you won't be able to trust this person again you will your intuition is going to be uh like very loud about like there's something off about this person or something this person is lying about i don't know but i don't feel like i can completely trust them So even though you do give this person a chance, you will soon realize that they are doing the same thing, thing again. Like they are up to the same thing. They have not changed at all. So yeah, eight of cups. You're going to, uh, for some of you, you are going to, oh, look at that, eight of cups, the sun, the ten of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, you are going to walk away from this person and connection and walk towards your happiness. The sun and the ten of pentacles. The sun is the happiest card of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, but that is a lot of happiness and stability and wish fulfillment. So this very well could be sort of like a test coming back because this is retrograde season, right? So this is a test coming back. Just to see if you still fall for that same stuff. Because if, because if you do manage to get out of this, something good is waiting. But it's like still the universe trying to make sure that you have learned your lesson. That you can walk away. Because this person, will they will really love from you. They will tell you everything that you have always wanted to hear from them. Right? So it's like... Have you learned your lesson and will you be able to overcome this temptation, this uh, attraction you feel for this person? Because for some of you, you still feel an attraction towards this person. This person still has a hold on you. So. Can you do it? All right. Well, that's your reading, Aries. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.